What's up everyone and welcome to the Iceland Experience 2022. Well, super excited guys. I'm glad that you're all here. We finally made it. The first Iceland experience. I'm super excited to have all of you here. It's gonna be a pretty packed next few days. This is uh, JC. He's been here to Iceland like what, 10 times you said? 15. 15 times. <laughs> so he definitely knows the, the law of the land here. He's gonna guide us to some, 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 some good spots. So today is just, you know, kind of like the check-in day to, for you to settle in and do whatever you want. Um, tomorrow though, it starts early. I want you guys to uh, enjoy, you know, uh, just being here creatively together. Let's just learn from each other. This is not really a workshop from me. Uh, I changed the, na the name precisely for that. This is going to be more of a creative retreat where I want creatives from different areas and different levels of expertise to come together and, and learn from each other, you know? I can learn from you guys just as much as you can learn from me. The point is to create here together and go back home with a kick-ass portfolio uh, from Iceland and, and hopefully, um, you know, book more elopement and, and small weddings, destination stuff, which I know a lot of you want to do more of. Today is the first day for the Iceland Experience 2022 and I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome. So many people came from different parts of the US to come here and collaborate together in such an amazing backdrop. Day one is just a day to check in, get settled and enjoy some of the amenities that the house has to offer. But also we went to see Fly Over Iceland, which is an amazing way not only to get the group together and get to know each other, but also to see what Iceland has to offer and some of the places that we'll be hitting during this creative experience. There has been zero shooting today. However, one of my favorite parts has been sitting around the table, having an amazing meal family style and enjoying some wine and talks and just getting to know each other a little bit better and discussing the plan for tomorrow. Our team has been very busy getting all the outfits ready for tomorrow. We have some incredible gowns from Kleinfeld in New York, but we also have some very long dresses that are gonna give us very dramatic portraits for those photographers attending that do not do weddings. We cannot wait to see what the day has in store for us tomorrow. <laughs> this seems uh, pretty, uh, pretty fitting right here for an uh, Iceland shoot. Oh yeah, Can you see my shoes? Wedding dress, <laughs> boots, there you oh, go. Thanks. Wedding dress, boots, and um, a coat. Perfect. We're ready for unpredictable weather. Yes. All right, we just got to our first location. It's this beautiful, some cliffs here by the ocean. And we are about to uh, get started. We have a bride and a groom, and we have another model that's going to wear a long, flowy dress. Looking forward to shooting it up against that greenery area back there. Hopefully those birds are not gonna attack our drone. And then we have a lighthouse over here. Pretty dramatic too. Looks like it's gonna be a good time. Let's rock and roll. So I'm already seeing a shot right over those rocks there with the lighthouse in the background. So let's get our bride and groom ready and out here. Uh, 
it, take one step back. Go ahead. After we were done there, we went to the Continental Divide, which is a cool spot that divides Europe and North America. So for some of those shots, our bride was literally in North America and our groom was in Europe. Right hand with your left hand. My name is Sarah Ireland and I am from Kansas City. We have been to some really magical locations this week. Um, a lot of places that I've really wanted to go my whole life. Bucket list experience, and especially with models and style teams and everything. So it's been great for the creative soul. Our photographers got to shoot different models and different outfits, and they got to be really creative today. I was really happy to see how each photographer was being creative, but helping each other out at the same time. The Iceland roads are surrounded by these rocks topped with moss that create a very unique landscape and backdrop. So once we found the correct one, we stopped and sent our bride and groom on a little hike for us to get some epic shots. Day one was certainly a long day. We hit so many different spots. We started early in the morning and finished way late in the evening. We just got to uh, second, first week. <laughs> We just got to the first location for day two and we're all excited, a little tired, but we are excited as to what we're going to see today. Right guys? That's right. Yeah! Woo! Can't Let's wait. Let's do it. My name is Matthew Tommy. I'm from Florida, Florida. So this whole trip was actually my first creative retreat and I really thought it was a unique experience considering that it gives you a chance to evolve your work and gives you a new perspective when you go back home. Today was day two of the experience and it was busy, busy, busy from 8.30 in the morning all the way to 8 o'clock at night. Our second location was one of the most beautiful waterfalls that I have ever seen in my life.
And what was great about it was that the landscape allowed us to get really close to the edge and have the waterfall in the background without any railings or a lot of people around us. <laughs> My name is Yolanda Hill and I am from West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, my first experience in Iceland have been amazing. I am so glad I did it and I can't even express how much fun and how many awesome people I've met through the whole thing. Our couple was an actual real couple and they exchanged vows right there in front of the waterfall which made it to their final wedding film which we created for them. Our photographers could not stop shooting but guess what that's okay because the sun never goes down here in Iceland. But we had one more place to go to as our last stop of the day. Mi nombre es Vera Franceschi y yo vivo en Miami y soy de Venezuela. Yo recomendaría esta experiencia a cualquier fotógrafo que quiera comenzar a tener un portafolio fuera de su zona de confort y que quiera expandir su creatividad y conocer gente nueva y ampliar su horizonte. And that concludes the creative retreat for 2022. We had such an amazing time and the photographers that came here got so much content and they cannot wait to start going through these images and, and sharing those images in social media. I myself cannot wait to go back and, and share those images with you all, but I'm already planning our next visit either to Iceland or to another country. So make sure you click the link in the description to be informed as to when this is happening again, because I sure hope to see you in the next one.